Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you what reports we can um, show from Microsoft Teams. You need to be admin to do this. Uh, so let's go to the nine dots and let's choose admin. Within the admin, we will under click on show all and search for Microsoft Teams. If you don't have, I'm on a sandbox, so this is why I see everything. But if uh, you might not have all of these uh, admin centers. So uh, by mistake, I, I chose the wrong um, <coughs> admin center. I didn't want SharePoint. I wanted Teams. Here we go. I'll click Teams. This close the what's not relevant. Here we go. So on the left hand side, we have some settings. So under teams, we have manage teams. <coughs> and we can see here the total of uh, users, internal and externals. And we can see actually the teams. Now let's say I want to export the whole list. Well, without a PowerShell, actually I can just click on this export. Uh, uh, and a uh, report will be shown over here. I can filter and also search. Let's look for coffee. And uh, I found it. Um, and I can choose which columns to show. So let's demonstrate how uh, to export. I click on the export. And on top, I will see that the report is generated. You see your report will be exported. You can download it when it's ready. Let's look here. Okay, it's not ready. Let's uh, wait a bit. Uh, in a minute, we'll see it. Now, if I go within the team, I can see now the members. I can see also the channels and also the settings. And actually, also here I can filter. I can change here uh, if it's a member or owner. I can filter. Let's look at the filter. I can choose. Uh, by the title, contains or not, and to give a value. Let's just export, for instance, uh, the members list. So we'll click also here. It will generate a report. Here we see it. Uh, you see this team list is ready for download. So I'll just click it. And um, I can click here. I will see the list of all of the teams. So we see here um, the name of the team, uh, how many channels, how many private channels, how many team members. For instance, this has uh, 16 members, how many owners, guests, and other things. Um, the other report also is not ready. We'll see it in a second. Um, but we can, uh, I see here the member list is ready for download. So let's click on it. And we'll click and we have here the whole list of, of members. So let's look at it. Let's double click. So for this team, uh, these are all of the users. This is the mail. This is the um, title, the location and the role. Um, let's see what else. So we saw we have a list of all of the teams teams within one team we could export. But what if we want to see what teams Adele uh, belongs to? So we have here a setting of users, manage users. And actually if I click on Adele, I can actually see here uh, about the account and on the tab of teams, I can see all of the teams that Adele belongs to. So she belongs to, as we can see here, uh, the, all of these. Uh, here it's not possible to download, but what we can do is actually, if she left the company, I can mark it and just remove her from this team. And it says that it might take 10 minutes, but instead of trying to track uh, 
which member going into into each group actually uh, it's possible to have the overview here are other things regarding voice and policies and usage it's less uh, so we can see here the usage not uh, not much interest actually the last thing I want to show you is actually uh, that we have here also analytics and reports and we can for instance choose a usage report there's a list of all kinds of reports so let's look at for instance team usage we can choose a time frame 7 days 30 or 90 and we can actually run the report we will see here a graph you see here we see all kind of uh, statistics here are the teams, here are the dates, and how many active users. Uh, you'll see here under download, actually all of the downloads of reports that also uh, we saw previously. Um, so this is what we have here. Report labels is not that uh, interesting at this point. So this is actually what I wanted to show you. Um, in the past, it was only possible to do that. Through PowerShell, now we can do it uh, out of the box. Of course, you need to be administrator. Uh, this is what I uh, wanted to tell you. If you liked it, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.